Hi guys! So welcome back to How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The quarantine loon. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> and folks, we Fifth, hope... I'm on 11 days, I, I think. I know we are. But anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you're safe. Um, we're going to stick Following to... the rules, please. That's right. We're going to stick to our plan and showing you great adaptable recipes that you can make and you can pull yes. things from the pantry. We love this one. It's so delicious. And it's so easy. It is. It is our... Chicken, chicken and with broccoli, broccoli Alfredo. Alfredo. Chicken and with, with broccoli, or with. Or however you want to say it. <laughs> it's chicken, broccoli, and it's got this creamy, and it's a pasta. It's so delicious. Creamy it's so sauce. Easy. It's so and good. so you can do this in so many different ways. You, uh, so let's start off talking about the chicken, okay? Yeah. The chicken you can use, never mind. <laughs> you can use, never mind. No, you could, what I think he was going to say is you, whatever chicken you got. So yes. Exactly. This is really good with chicken breast. You can cook the chicken breast up separately, cut it up and chop it up. You can leave it whole. But we work. like the thighs with the bone well, in. And the skin on. Yes. <laughs> we got our skin in the game with this one. So <laughs> what so we've good. done, we've got, I've got, I had five uh, chicken thighs, skin on, skin, but you could do boneless if you wanted to. Just cook them according to the way you need to cook them. Right. So they're fully cooked. This Whatever chicken you got. is really delicious because it gets that crispy, crispy skin. So uh -huh. here's what we do. I get a nice, large uh, skillet that I, the cast iron skillet or a Dutch oven skillet, something that you can easily transfer to the oven will help you. Um, if not, you could probably put them in a baking I pan. love the skillet you have. I do the too. Le Well, whatever you've got is <laughs> fine. And so um, what Name I dropping. did, you really want to get these crisp. The skin, you got to get skin crisp. For it to be super duper delicious, uh, so and I want to eat and, he, this and, and then put up a gate, quarantine <laughs> the chicken from the loon because he will eat it. Um, so anyway, we cook this in a little bit of oil in my skillet um, over pretty high heat uh, for about anywhere from five to ten minutes, and just check it periodically with a pair of tongs. Oh, did you I say you salt and pepper? Before them? I did that, let's go. Back. Oh, let's rewind. I salt and peppered these liberally. I, I did the tops, and then I flipped them over, and then I did the bottoms, and then I put some oil in the pan, and then I put them in skin side down, and just let them cook. You you kind of want to kind of move them around a little bit because don't want them to stick to the bottom. They'll have a tendency to want to stick, yeah. maybe just a little bit. Um, Especially the skin. Yes, since it's all skin that you're cooking right yeah. now. You're not worrying about cooking. Really. You're, you're gonna, we're going to finish cooking them in the oven. So once that skin gets that beautiful golden crispy color and texture, mm -hmm. um, then we're going to flip mm. them over. And then I've got my oven preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to finish cooking the chicken. And it goes in for 20 minutes. Okay? Yes. Now, we are going to remove them from the chicken. I mean, from the chicken. We're going to move them from the oven. And, then and we'll just put transfer them on to the plate platter. right here. So in the same skillet, uh, th these things do render some fat because it's skin. But oh, we're yeah. going to be a little healthier. And we're just going to discard that. <laughs> and um, <laughs> But we're going to eat that crunchy skin. But we're going to eat that skin. <laughs> uh, but because there's so much flavor. And the bone, ah, it's delicious. Yes. But again, whatever you got. Yeah. So... Okay, so now let's talk about this. Let's talk about the we're pasta. Moving. This thing's it's so, it's so easy. I mean, we're all working from home. Hopefully not all of us, not all of us, but this is a great weeknight um, meal. Uh, so what I did was I just got, I love this kind, this is called orchietta. I always say it wrong. Orchetta. Yes, thank Orchetta. You. Orchetta. 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 And you have to say it like that. Orchetta. Um, it's just, you know, you can use fusilli, you can use bow tie, you yeah, can use Yeah, whatever penne, pasta you've whatever got. Whatever pasta you've got. But I think these are cute. And I just, like they that work too. Well. Yeah. And then, so I cook them according to whatever your package directions is until they're nice and kind of al dente, yeah. which was about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And then <laughs> I got some uh, broccoli. Th this was probably two cups of, I just got a couple of, I had some broccoli on hand, some uh, Ooh, I crowns. bet you, could you use broccolini as well? You could use broccolini, you could use whatever you had. You could, you could certainly use spinach, but what I did was for the fresh, um, in the last, this is, I love this, in the last two minutes of the cooking of the pasta, I just tossed that broccoli in there and, um, did you tell them that you put some salt in it? It was. Pasta I'm, not, I'm forgetting some things because I'm so excited. <laughs> so the about pasta you got going first, and you threw some salt in there. You always throw salt in your pasta water. Liberally. Let those get going for a while, and then you threw in this. And you, but you didn't let that go for the broccoli for too long. Well, it doesn't take long. Ten, right. you know, two minutes is really all it right, takes. Exactly. Um, but you could and also. And these are still use, good and, and not too al dente. Mm. Mm. You could also whatever you've got. You could, like I said, you could use frozen. You could use peas. You, peas are great. You could use. Cauliflower, whatever you got. Okay, so I think I've covered all of that. I've messed I think most so. of it up. Yeah. Okay. You've not messed it up. Okay. You just told it out of order. Thanks. So <laughs> now what I've got over here, I'm back to my skillet, and this comes together fast, folks, so keep an eye. All right, so we got two <laughs> tablespoons of butter that I've got, again, over a nice 
Uh, Butter. Now, now you will see in this skillet, there's some of still the skin from before. Oh, That's okay. We yes. talked about that, that there's so much flavor there. The seasoned, um, yes. So leave so that good. in there. So now what we are going to do is we're going, that's nice and hot, so I don't want it to burn. Now I've got two tablespoons of flour, and that is going to act as, as our a thickener, thickener a roux. As, as our roux, our favorite character on the Golden Girls. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and that's going to, you want to just cook that until it kind of cooks out uh, the flour taste. And that doesn't take long. You don't want it to, if it starts to brown, then you're, you've probably got your heat a little too high. But anyway, I think we're doing good. Yes. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are going to build... Build the what? The Alfredo? We're gonna build ourselves an Alfredo <laughs> sauce. Okay, so it's gonna be super duper delicious. Let's start off now. Again, you can do whatever you got on hand. Any combination of, you could use milk, you can use heavy cream, you can use half and half, or you can use a combination of those. I like to use a combination of them. That's good. And I do a cup of milk and I've got my trusty whisk here. If I can do this, I'm left-handed, so I'm kind of doing this backwards. Well, do you want me to come over there and whisk? No, it'll just get worse. <laughs> and then... <laughs> so rude. And then I've See, got... See, this a, is what happens when we're stuck in the house together for two weeks, oh, practically. Oh, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> what's, what's happened? We cook. Oh, no. How is that any different? No. Anyways, you insult me. Oh, please. <laughs> so anyway, so now um, I've added... Did I say I added a quarter cup of heavy cream? So... No, so I didn't. I'm sorry. That's a half a cup. Yes. So I've so got a cup, cup and a half of, of milk, milk well, of total. So a cup of milk and a half, half a cup of cream. of cream. Got it. Okay. Now I've got a cup of just good quality chicken stock. Hopefully you have that in stock. If you don't, then you could use um, whatever you have. You can even make chicken stock with some mm. get some water and get some bouillon cubes. You can be creative here. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we're just going to continue to stir this until that roux starts to work its magic and it starts to thicken and mm. that's and then we're going to add some more flavor to it Ooh. and we're almost done. Throw it all together. Yes. Okay. Wow, and just like that. Looks it's great. so beautiful, so creamy and so you can silky kind of, and delicious. Silky and delicious. So you want this mm. uh, this literally took about 5 minutes. Um, I I don't I don't like an alfredo sauce that's so thick and so heavy yeah. that you're like Ooh. Yeah. You know, I'm. Um, <laughs> Feel like you have a boulder in your gut. Yes, you need to like <laughs> leave in a gurney. You're so weighted down. But um, so, but if you do like it really, really thick, then you can, you know, you can thicken this with like a cornstarch slurry. You probably heard me talk about this, but th and this will thicken because we're going to add some more things to it. To yeah. It. But this is a great consistency, and this took about five minutes. So okay, so now we're just going to add a little more flavor enhancers. I've got a tablespoon of one of my favorite things in the world to cook with, which mm. is Dijon mustard. I love it. Um, I've got a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and then, you know, I, you could do, saute some garlic, but in this, I think the simplicity of just a little garlic powder is Yeah, great. and most everybody has garlic powder in, yeah, the, in, your, in, in your, your pantry. Yeah, in your pantry. So that was a tablespoon of that, and um, okay, so now we're going to just stir that in, and oh, let me get, um, I've got about a half a teaspoon of salt here, healthy pinch of black pepper. Mm. Oh, I can't wait. You know, this is such a... <laughs> Such a wonderful meal, and it's funny when. So, I'd like to say, you know, when if you're watching this for the first time and the COVID 19 is no longer an issue, and you remember back on that, you're still going to want to make this because it's so delicious <laughs> yeah. any any time of the year. Yeah. So, okay, so now in goes this, and I'm yes. just gonna, I love this that I can do the broccoli and the pasta together. I'm going to mm. fill my bowl. <laughs> That's that's all right. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And besides, I'll take it. I know. Besides it being so spectacularly delicious and easy to make, look how gorgeous it, it is. It looks great. Okay. Now I said we were gonna <laughs> flows here. Flows. Hi, flow. <laughs> um, okay. So now what, that we're doing this, I'm going to sweeten the deal, and we're gonna even add yes. a little more. We got some parm cheese, folks. <laughs> we got cream and cheese, people. <laughs> That's gonna make everybody feel better about everything. As we're gathered around with our families and our loved ones, and we're um, hopefully cooking some good meals that we've prepared from things that we have in our pantry, this is one of those times that we're thankful yes. to be together. Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, that's sweet. I know it is. You're so sweet. Well, you know, <laughs> I was raised right. <laughs> yes. Okay. So anyway, all right. Um, now Bring we, that over here so I can show all these done, people. We are done, folks. Look at that. I mean, I am so... That's impressive. Yes. Okay, but we're, yes. we're not done. Now we got to... Oh, put, you got to nestle some chicken. Do, and then you just, you know, you don't have to do this, but 
why not? You know, um, stick it in there. And uh, I'm glad you washed your hands before you started yes. fingering all the chicken. Well, my hands are <laughs> always clean, clean. <laughs> and especially this is cooked chicken. Look at okay. that. And then there's going to maybe be a little juice. Oh, well. there you go. So, you know, let's <laughs> sweeten the deal. Wow, that looks wonderful. I don't know what you're going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know what I'm going to be eating. Oh, wow, look That's at that. Beautiful. Oh, okay, well, let's. Isn't that great? I mean, serve that for the family and. Uh, yeah, let's serve me right now. <laughs> <laughs> a family of loons. I'd double that, but here we go. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh, Which yeah. one? I'll do this little one right here. Ooh, look at that, people. It's mm. bread. I mean, this is a one-pot oh. meal, so you really don't need to do anything else. That is so beautiful. I oh. can't. I'm gonna. You know what? Let's throw some on top. Of it. <laughs> okay. All okay. right, that's great. All right, move Let's, that thing. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> the folks would like to see. All right, here we go. I'm gonna leave this here. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go in. For, I'm gonna go time. in. It's yes. Dinner is served. Dinner is prepared. Oh no. Oh, that's so tender. Oh, look at that. It's really the searing it and then cooking it in the oven like that really, oh. um, really makes it super and tender. Look at that. I love that how that Alfredo is not like super like, gluey. Yes, exactly. Right. I like. I love it too. But again, remember you could do chicken, chicken breast, boneless chicken breast. Just sear it up first, cook it, and then chop it up. That's great. Oh, gosh. I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah. Oh. What are you? I, I can hear it. I can What are you tasting? The chicken skin. Oh. Mm. <laughs> he loves the chicken skin. Mm. What about the Alfredo That's sauce? Oh. The Alfredo, I love it. Like I was telling you, it's not too thick. Mm -hmm. But that Dijon that you mm. threw in there adds just the right hint of like tangy It does. It kind of gives a little tanginess and, and the oh, Worcestershire. Oh, the broccoli is just so fresh. Yeah. Is there something you want to tell me? <laughs> this is 100% lid approved! Oh my god, I'm so excited! All right, give Grab me a here, knife and fork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh. It is so good. The, the pasta is done perfectly. It really is. Mmm. Mmm. And I like it how, how you've got like little pockets where you can... Where the, the sauce, sauce goes into it. They're like little bowls mm -hmm. for the sauce. It's so good. Isn't that amazing? It it's so refreshing. It's very springy. <laughs> yeah. For an Alfredo. Yeah, it's not super heavy. Yeah. We keep saying that. But it's I really, love it. really, 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 really good. Really good. Now you can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. This is one of my favorite dishes. I know. Um, and go to our social media, like us, share us, um, practice safe distancing, be safe. Yes, please um, be very, very safe. We got to flatten the curtain, folks. Flatten that curve. Mm. Mm. That is so good. That is wonderful. Mm. Bye, y'all. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right. And to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>